Jesse Clinton, it was a bumpy summer for U.S. investors, to say the least. So what's your view with regard to U.S. stocks for the rest of the year? How's it going to play out? Well, we have clients in a very unique position. They're very calm. They know that we have a very detailed and customized approach that will help them to get their financial goals over the long term. So they count on us to do that, to have calm during these volatility and during the volatility in these markets. And they also count on us to be tactical and understand the volatility and how to take advantage of it. Well, we saw the VIX, the so-called fear index, spike above 40 in August. Now it's back below 25. You guys run, I think, a covered call strategy. So talk about how you marry those two. Absolutely. So the covered call strategy has been a saint over the last 18 months. Um, when we talked about it uh, about four months ago, I think the S&P's come down seven, the covered call strategy's come down two. And for the year, the covered call index is up about three, the S&P up down about three. So there's a big difference there in terms of writing these calls, getting some protection from the volatility. The VIX index is also something I think that's worth taking a look at. We put out a, uh, we just stumbled upon a Barron's article and put that out during the summer, I think it was July 1st, and started to incorporate that into the appropriate strategies. And at that point, the VIX was trading at 15. Like you said, it got uh, up to about 40. It's come back down to 25. I think there'll be some more volatility, so it's definitely something to consider. And with regard to sectors, you are investing in an ETF called The Hack, which invests in cybersecurity stocks, clearly a hot space. Why is this the best way to invest in it? So cybersecurity is, is as you said, where a lot of money is going, where a lot of the IT budgets are going, and I think where probably the future of technology will be. So Hack gives you the ability to spread out your investments. A lot of these companies are not profitable. Uh, they're definitely growth opportunities and have risk to them. But being able to spread it out across this index could be something that makes sense for the right clients. And you're also a fan of financials, banks like BB&T. So why do you like the banks now? So we like, what we like is the U.S. consumer. And I think the banks fall into that category. So we think that the U.S. consumer will continue to be strong, especially as some of these lower oil prices work through. And so if we can find companies um, that will do well and that cater to the U.S. consumer, uh, I think those are a home run. And I also think that um, banks in general, with where rates are going, they, they could also benefit. All right. And then finally, you are a fan of Europe. And the way you're getting to Europe is via the HEDJ, which is a, uh, it's a, they balance out the currencies in this exchange traded fund, they hedge it out. So tell me why you like the HEDJ. So uh, what we do at Snowden is we really try to understand where the markets are going and put a tactical piece there. So using Europe, uh, Warren Buffett was just on a CNBC interview talking a little bit about Europe and how um, there is a, a definite correlation to US rates and Europe rates. Uh, so we wanna try to play Europe we like the long-term perspective, but we are looking at a stronger dollar, and that could hurt the euro. So HEDJ actually hedges the dollar and allows us to gain some exposure to Europe as well. Right. So working through and talking to clients about that, uh, it's been a great summer. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Jesse. Thank you, Greg. And thank you for watching the street.